as man standing. Pinfalls. The following handicap match is scheduled for one fall. Approaching the ring from Scotland, the hardcore icon. Now I know that uh, <coughs> the scheduled match for this was supposed to be David Seidright and Grosser taking on the tag team champion. However, Grosser was unable to make it tonight. He, uh, he had some personal things he had to take care of, and that's okay. David, you know, he may not exactly be thrilled about fighting in a handicap match against the tag team champions, but, you know, on the flip side, a few weeks ago, Extreme was fighting in a handicap match against every tag team that he, that, they, that, you know, he had to compete against, you know, because uh, John Terrence was taking his personal time. So, although David may not be enthusiastic about this fight, it looks like he's still here to fight. That's what counts, that's what counts, and that's what matters. And, you know, I, like Die Hard said he gave all the credit to the world to David Seibert. I give that man so much credit for the things that he did to Die Hard at Unforgiven. And what he did to Die Hard at SummerSlam. He took Die Hard to every believable limit. I honestly believe that SKO would have hit, Die Hard would have been down for the count. He would have been gone. And the opponents, the WWE Tag Team Champions, Thunder and the Superstar. You know, I, I know that John Terrace and Extreme usually aren't much for big on talking, but. You know, it looks like they're doing pretty good for themselves right now. As you see, extreme, it looks like he's a little bit more talkative now. Uh, and, you know, they they had their a little bit of a difference, you know, at Unforgiven, but they took care of it. That's what matters. They they took care of it. They got it taken care of, and they still have the tag team titles around their waist. And that's what's important is that they still have those tag team titles around their waist. And here we go with this handicap matchup. John Paris and David Cyber are going to start this one. Oh, David with a sharp kick to the gut. David whips John Terrace into the ropes. Oh, and a raising knee lift from David Seibright. And just like that, John Terrace counters. Whips David towards the corner. David springboards out. Catches John Terrace on the chest. Just catches him like that. Now David, big back elbow to the back of the head. And now David looks like he's going to go for that. Big double arm DDT to John Terrace. John Terrace counters from the ground. Sharp kick, sharp left kick to the gut. Whips David towards the corner. Wait a second, looks like John Terrace is going to tag in Extreme here. Oh, a snap mare. Wait a second, Extreme off the ropes with a big boot right to the face. That'll give you whiplash if anything, Will. Now it looks like Extreme's going to do some work here. Wait a second, what's Extreme thinking? Wait a second. He's got David set up in the neckbreaker. Oh, and the hangman's elbow drop. And now Extreme going to work on the neck with that double leg drop. What's Extreme going to do here? Nothing pretty about that DDT. That DDT alone could break your neck. Extreme picks David up. Extreme rear tie up on David here. Wait a second. Lifts him up into a side slam into a backbreaker right across the lower back and the kidneys. David counters from the ground, a raising knee lift from David. Oh, and then that fury punch from David right to Extre Extreme's face. That's one thing you gotta love about David Seibert. He's not afraid of anybody he fights. Here's like David's got Extreme up on his shoulder. He's got a 280 pound man on his shoulder into Snake Eyes. The standing tie up there, wait a second, David Going for that double arm DDT on Extreme. Wait a second, David whips Extreme into the ropes. Extreme counters with a, a Lucha Libre style DDT. Very impressive from the big 280 pound man. Extreme with the side headlock here. Oh, there's one clothesline. Wait a second, Extreme still holding on to that wrist. Picks David back up. There's the second clothesline. Extreme picks David up. 
Wait a second. Extreme whips David towards the corner. David springboards out. Oh, and an, an attempted elbow drop from Extreme missed. But wait, that punch catches David right in the face. Now Extreme with the standing tie up. Wait a second. There's that big T-bone suplex. Extreme picks David up into a side headlock here. David counters. Oh, and then an elbow right to the back of the head there. An elbow drop didn't fully connect. Looks like it may have connected a little bit. Raising knee lift from Extreme. Extreme with a side headlock again on David. Wait a second. Oh, there's one clothesline. Wait a second. There's another clothesline. And now it looks like Extreme's going to go to work on David's legs with that Indian death lock. Just wrenching out the back of your knee. As I was saying, you know, David backs down from nobody. And I, I believe in my heart that, again, David Seidrite will be in the title picture for the World Heavyweight Championship. I can see it happening. Wait a second. Extreme with a side Russian leg sweep. And I know that this may seem like David's being punished for something, but I don't think he is. Oh, sorry about that, folks. We're having a little bit of a camera glitch here. Extreme counters. Sharp kick to the gut into a side headlock there oh and it looks like John Terrace may have blind tagged himself into the matchup as I was saying it may seem like David was set up in this match to get beat up by the tag team champions but it has been confirmed that Grocer was just unable to make it tonight he had some personal things going on and like I said that's okay and David was still willing to compete against the tag team champions Although it is a handicap match. Oh, wait a second. John Terrace counters. Sharp kick to the gut from David. The attempted martial arts kick did not connect. And that big running German suplex to David from John Terrace. And as you can see, the tag team champions are well in control in, in this match. And now John Terrace going to work on the arm. A kick to the elbow and then a punch to the back of the elbow. Just wearing down your opponent. That's all John Terrace is doing. Just wearing him down. And now basic arm drag right across the back of the elbow that was just kicked. Now David outside the ring here. Slides back in. Oh, and a quick enziguri from David Seibright to John Terrace. Oh, and that fury punch connects again. John Terrace counters from the ground. Oh, and a big running clothesline. John Terrace. John Terrace picks David up. Standing tie up here. Oh, and that basic arm drag connects again. You know, and I got I gotta believe with as big oh wait, it looks like John Terrace now working on those arms. As I was saying, with as big as John Terrace and Extreme both are, they are both very agile for as big as they are. They are two of the largest superstars in the power plant. And they are very agile. And I, and I mean very, very agile. Oh, and that jumping, spinning kick from John Terrace. That just shows you how how much agility, you know, that big of a guy has. Enable the ability to do that jumping, spinning kick on the turn of a dime like that. It's a big deal. Oh, wait a second. A big running neck breaker from John Terrace to David. You know, as much as I hate saying this, David just can't seem to mount an offense. Wait a second. It looks like here we go with the submission. Can David get out of this? John Terrace just working on that knee with that single leg crab. He lets go of it. As I was saying, though, as good of a show as David is giving right now, he just can't seem to mount an offense against the tag team champions. It just doesn't seem like he can manage to do it. Wait a second. What's Terrace thinking here? Wait a second. He tags in extreme. Wait a second. He's got him set up in a... Wait a second. A springboard off the top rope from Extreme. A 280-pound man just threw all his weight at David Seibright. A kick to the gut. Wait a second. It looks like Extreme may be going for the derailer on David Seibright here. And the derailer connects. It looks like Extreme saying, now it's time to have some fun. Extreme may be looking to hit the venomous strike here. And just like that, the Venomous Strike connects. 
Extreme into the cover, hooks the leg. One, two. Oh my God, that was so close to a three. Even Extreme thought that was a three count. He's saying it was a three, the referee's saying no, it was a two. A raising knee lift from David. Whips Extreme to the corner. Wait a second, Extreme counters. Oh, that big DDT from Extreme. Wait a second, Extreme whips David back into the corner. David springboards. Oh, oh, and a big running elbow drop from Extreme to David. Referee got in the way there. Extreme pushes him away. John Terrace jumped off the apron. David quick back in the ring. Oh, and a great hook from Extreme to David. Sharp kick to the gut into a side wrist lock here. David counters into a standing tie-up. Extreme counters into a side wrist lock. What's he going to do here? Extreme switching positions. Oh, wait a second, a little bit of miscommunication there. Who's the legal man here? David, sharp kick to the gut, a running clothesline on Extreme. It looks like Extreme's still the legal man, and now David going to work on the arms. David picks Extreme up. As I was saying, yes, David is at a big disadvantage tonight, but he's still going out there doing his best. David on the top rope. Can he do it? The front flip leg drop off the top. Extreme counters from the ground. Another running clothesline from David. Oh, that right hook from Extreme. But wait, there's one kick to the back leg. There's two. And there's an equalizer for David to take Extreme down back onto the mat. David picks Extreme up. A forearm to the back of the head. Extreme catches him with a spinning back elbow. That attempted uh, martial arts kick did not connect. Extreme with a raising knee lift. A standing tie up here. Wait a second, what's Extreme doing? Wait a second, John Terrace is a legal man, David. John Terrace is a legal man. Wait a second, a Russian leg sweep and an STO at the same time. What's John Terrace going to do here? That left toe kick to the gut. David counters. And John Terrace counters. Oh, and a running clothesline from David to John Terrace. David picks John Terrace up. David whips John Terrace to the far corner away from Extreme. David looks like he's going up to the top rope. Is he going to go for that front flip leg drop again? And he got it. That's twice in one match against both of his opponents. And now David, there's two kicks, and there's the third kick to the back of the head. David's great equalizer, those, those educated feet are what's keeping him different. Wait a second, David picking John Terrace up into that front gourd buster. And now John Terrace counters from the ground. Wait a second, Extreme has a hold of David. Wait a second, what's John Terrace going to do here? Oh, a big nasty headbutt. There was nothing fancy about that. Just sheer anger with that headbutt. From the tag team champions, a kick to the gut by John Terrace. Another kick to the gut. A huge back elbow. Oh, and a big uppercut from John Terrace to David Seibright. Another kick to the gut. Wait a second. It looks like John Terrace may be going for it. looks like the shock drop. The shock drop connects. Can the, will this do it? Hooks the leg. One, two, three. And just like that, the tag team champions have won this matchup. You know, in, in moments like these. You know, these two, they are a great, great team. They are a very dangerous team. As long as they can stay on the same page, maybe nobody can.